Yo, my name is Benjamin, and this is Dime-Based Springs in Framer. We generally have two types of transitions in Framer, Ease and Spring. These easing transitions use easing functions, like linear, ease in, ease in out, ease out, and more. And they allow you to set a specific time. Framer also has spring transitions. So let's have a look at those. Now, if you have used transitions in Framer before, you might be familiar with these properties like stiffness, damping, and mass. These are spring curves based on physics. While very flexible, these don't allow you to set a specific time, making them harder to mix with ease transitions, as well as harder to sequence in variants. That's why we're adding time-based springs to Framer. These have a simpler set of properties. We have a time control just like we get in the ease transitions and a bounce control that simply defines the bounciness of our animation. So let's go ahead and give our time-based spring a preview. As you can see, this allows us to use spring animations that end at the exact same time as our eased animations. Plus, you can see how much more natural the spring transition really feels in direct comparison. To get a better understanding of the bounce property, I've added three rows here, each with a unique value. So let's jump back to the preview to give these a comparison. And you'll notice that the higher the bounce value, the farther our animation overshoots. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.